County Animal Rescue is sharing its frustrations tonight after animals in their care were returned to their original owner convicted of inhumane treatment of animals. Back in July, Justin Culley's trailer was found abandoned with dozens of animals left inside. According to court records, he pleaded no low contendery in September, meaning he accepted the conviction but did not admit to the violation. Our Emily Johnson went to the rescue today and shares what they think could have been done differently. Hope Acres took care of 47 of Cully's animals before 40 of those animals were returned to him after a September hearing. Very disheartening for us as we were caring for them over a 10 week span um, to watch them go. Tracy Sawyer, president of the rescue group, says unfortunately three of the animals died in their care after coming in with medical problems, including parasite overload, chronic pneumonia, and coccidia, which can potentially affect humans. And that was a huge concern of ours as a rescue, knowing that these animals were potentially going to go back out into the community. Before the hearing, Sawyer asked for the judge to see evidence of the animal's condition and stressed the risk of putting these animals back in a petting zoo environment could have on the public. But Sawyer's evidence was not used at the hearing and she was not asked to testify. We pleaded up until the last day of court, an hour before court to let us keep those animals and continue their treatment. Sawyer says she has multiple unanswered questions and concerns with Berkeley County about the way that the situation was handled. One being a written agreement on the animals care between the county and Hope Rescues was never created. They basically dropped these animals off here and said now we're giving them back. Now you spend 10 weeks Getting you know, know, multiple them. hours a yeah. day, rushing them up and down the road. Going forward, Sawyer hopes this entire experience can be a learning experience for the rescue and the county on how to handle animal cases like this. It would behoove us all to negate all of that frustration and, and put something in place so that we know what the expectation is of one another. The rescue was allowed to keep four animals, including horses and a donkey. The horse is now looking like this compared to how it looked back in July. In Berkeley County, Emily Johnson, Live 5 News. Well, we reached out to Berkeley County for more information on the case. They said they can provide more details on Monday. Coley did not want to comment on the story.